Hello, my name is Kristen. Welcome to my floor. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about the song, Old Town Road. This is my first delve into talking about pop culture, analysis, anything like that, but I thought it would be fun because I'm studying at Minerva Schools. If you just found this video, you could check that out, but you don't really need to, but if you've been watching me for Minerva content, this is going to be me basically applying a lot of the stuff that I've been learning as a arts and humanities major to a fun, current, relevant thing. So if you're interested, keep watching. So basically I'm going to like analyze it from an artistic standpoint, but also try to work in some historical and philosophical significance. And I know this song has been on the charts for like 15 weeks, but... I think it's interesting even more because it has stayed on the charts for 15 weeks, like at number one for that long. And just to be totally clear, I am going to be doing this completely my own analysis. There's a chance it sounds like something somebody else has said, but that's just because we have the same ideas about it. Also, I haven't even looked at the genius lyrics for this song, <sighs> so it's going to be all my own thoughts. And I'm going to try and challenge myself to fit this analysis into just five minutes. So let's go. <laughs> First of all, I think overall the lyrics of this song are just totally about liberation. The idea of going to ride until you can't anymore is really about getting away. But then in the verses, he really touches on what he wants his life to be like when he does get away and what it feels like when he's getting away. And a lot of it is about being able to have his own definition of what that looks like and what going and leaving in order to be a better self is to him personally. So when he's saying like, you can whip your Porsche, I've been in the valley, you ain't been up off that porch. It's kind of like, what's valuable to me is that experience externally and he's really finding his own worth. I could go into more examples from the lyrics, but we're trying to keep this short. So the reason it's so interesting that this song is about liberation in the lyrics is because the musical choices, and particularly the genre mixing in his musical choices, is very unique. So the way that he is, first of all, doing country as a black man, which historically those things have been regarded as mutually exclusive, and yet he doesn't completely acquiesce to the norms of country music. He still works in some of those things that American culture would traditionally associate with the African-American music community, which is like the rap influence and the hip hop, the heavy bass in particular, along with the sort of, I don't know how twangy it really it is, but I'm going to say along with the sort of twanginess is a really strong statement because it's saying, I don't care that traditionally these music genres are both very racially stereotyped. I'm going to cross them and I'm going to use both. So it's not even just like he's leaving behind the traditionally African-American ideas and totally going into this white genre. It's the fact that he's really merging them, which really represents his desire to be liberated also racially, like liberated from the expectations that African-Americans can only be one thing while still holding on to the power and the value of having that cultural background. So this song is really saying like, why the hell can't I make a country song? And if I want to do something country, why the hell can't I still keep some of those hip-hop elements in it? You get the best of both worlds. Why can't I just do it my own way? And that is the very content of the lyrics. I'm going to do it my own way. My way isn't what you would have expected, but it's me. I also see this song as sort of an olive branch in the realm of racial tension historically because it's not only challenging those tensions of like genre being racially stereotyped, which is just something that our society has built up in its collective imagination, but he's also presenting a very universal human experience, which kind of boils down to the idea of the American dream, that you can go out and make yourself whatever you want to make of yourself. And traditionally that dream has been a very typical definition of success, but he kind of plays with what that success means in the lyrics of the song. So he's kind of saying, we all just want 
to go out and make the best of ourselves. And this is what it looks like for me to be my best self, which is honestly inspiring to anyone of any race. So that's my thesis on Old Town Road. I think it's amazing that it's been at the top of the charts because I think it is so artistically interesting. At first, I honestly just liked it because I thought it was kind of funny how it was subverting so many expectations. But honestly, that subversion of expectations is why we all love it, both ironically and unironically. So let me know if you enjoyed this. Let me know your own thoughts. Let me know if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. These are obviously just like really hashed out since I tried to do it so quick, but I would love to start a conversation. I love talking about pop culture with the sort of academic discourse level of thinking. So I might be doing more of this around here. We shall see. This is the end screen now. Thank you for watching. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Also check out this other video that I think you might like. And if you follow me on social media, I would really appreciate that as well. I definitely do more of this kind of thing on my Twitter. So if you like this, you should follow me on Twitter. Okay, bye.